family. Hey, what's up with it? It is the 7th of November 2016. Today is Monday and I have come on to uh, do a little hauling and doing a little talking on this Monday. So I got some things to share with you guys. Some good stuff that I got today at the Goodwill. I got up this morning and um, I decided that I'd go down there and uh, see what they had and oh my god yeah um, I seriously scored okay I scored like big time I'm just getting in the house so you know I'm a little you know what I'm saying a little misty you know what I mean I went and got me some fish and uh, I ate a little bit of it let me show you I need to take it out of this bag anyway because otherwise it gets sweating and I don't like it. I don't like my 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 fish all soggy. Um, and now, mind you, I only paid for like two pieces of fish, two pieces of fillet of sole, right? And you know, it's very very thin. I usually get like a quarter pound of fish, and I eat that every day. Um, and uh, that's what I eat every day. I go to the fish market. I have them weigh me out a quarter of a pound. Of fish and then when and it's usually like um, the catfish fillet um, instead of me taking the whole piece minus of course without the the head and the, the tail and all that shit on there it's just the the fillet piece excuse me and they'll cut it in half for me and then I want the end with the tail in you know where it goes into the tail you like the skinny part <clears throat> I like that end of the fish and so um, I have them weigh that out uh, for me, and it's usually about because it's believe it or not, it's ten ninety nine a pound for the catfish and for the uh, fillet of sole. Even snapper is like eight ninety nine, nine ninety nine a pound at the fish market. That's high as hell. I already know, but I guess because it's you buy, we fry, whatever. So anyway, I had the young lady to um, weigh me out a quarter pound. And when I got my fish, I'm like, damn, this is awfully heavy. Look at all this damn fish that this girl gave me. This is like so much. Oh, my God. This is, this is, oh, my God. This is so much fish for me. You know, so I ate a little bit of it. As you can see, I had, um, I ate like some of this. And I'm good right now. So when my daughter gets here, um, then I'll share with her. But, oh, my God. Girl, you gave me a lot of fish. <laughs> Gave me a lot, a lot of fish today. <clears throat> and, uh, geez, you know, I just don't eat a lot. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? You know how, like, people, you know, wake up every day to figure out what they're going to eat. Well, you know, the point at where I'm at in my life now, I just eat for fuel, you know, just to keep me going. But, uh, I, oh, that's my neighbor. She, she keeps their grandbabies. Can you hear them? Cute little, I mean, just cute little nuggets. And so they must be in the backyard. Um, so I just don't, I eat for fuel. I don't eat to get full. I never do anymore. Um, I since dropped that years ago. I eat good enough to where I'm comfortable and then I put it down. Like I'll eat and I'll put the food down. Like I'll put the fork down. If I'm going to take a bite, I don't keep the fork in my hand. Just still eating. I'll eat and while I'm chewing, I put the fork down. That's just my practice. That's just what I do for me. Because I don't want to gain any more weight. Um, and for whatever reason, I guess, you know, my weight still decides that it wants to go down a little bit. I'm not really choosing to really lose a whole lot of weight. Um, I probably want to stay around maybe 170, 175, but I really don't want to go <clears throat> no lower than that because I'm already at like a 23% body fat and, you know, that's a health, that's healthy range. Um, I think it's from, um, is it, um, 21 to 24 is what, is that's like a norm or something, um, or is that, or is that athletic? But then, no, I think athletic is that that one right below that, that that 15 to 19 or whatever like that. That's like really, really lean, like muscle, muscular lean. And I don't want that. Um, I mean, I still want a little cushion on me, you know what I mean? I still want a little bit of thickness at least, you know what I mean? But 
for whatever reason, I don't know. And then <clears throat> I had posted um, the picture yesterday um, as I was uh, leaving the hospital. We're going to talk about that in a minute, too. Um, as I was leaving the hospital, and when I did that, you guys was like, oh, my God, where's your waist at? And, wow, as you can see, the picture's not touched up or anything like that. Zoom it in if you need to zoom that in. You know, because I, I don't, I don't, I'm not using any filters or anything like that or drawing, you know, things in or anything like that. Um, because actually once you pull the picture in, you can kind of see a waving on the wall or anything like that. Things kind of move around when you, I'm not saying that I have never done it because I have done it before. I'll be one to admit it. But now that I've gotten my weight, you know, a comfortable weight for me. There's really no need for me to do that. <clears throat> but I am one to admit that I have done it before. But I, you know, I haven't, I, there's no need. Um, but at any rate, um, so uh, I posted the picture uh, last night in the bathroom um, at the uh, hospital. And I put it on um, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram. And I think that's it. I think that's all I got. And I think I'll probably put it on Tumblr, too. But, um, so, and you guys are like, damn, Auntie, where's your waist at? Your waist is just so tiny. Girls, look, now I am teeter-tottering on that 26 inch now. You know, at first I was like 27 and some change. <clears throat> now I'm like 26 and some change. Look, it. um, today I actually got this, um, this, um, I, I think it's actually a necklace. I don't know. But I'm actually wearing it as a, a belt that I just simply put around my waist. Just to kind of give you an inclination that I think this is a necklace. I don't know. It might be like, I think it's a, the, like a 30 inch. But I just put the 30 inch around my waist. And I got this today um, at the Goodwill. Um, and we're going to um, talk about and show you guys my Goodwill score. Today, I mean, oh my God, I scored so tough today at the Goodwill. It was like crazy. Um, but <clears throat> I know I came on on Saturday and I had posted that I was on my way going to go see my baby at the hospital. And some of you guys, I guess, thought I was talking about Button. No, I'm not talking about my kids. I'm talking about the man in my life. Um, guys, he stepped on a nail and his, he had, he always wear those um, Jordan little slippers. He'll put those on. He just walk away, walk around with them. You know, my kids do it too. So I, I guess, you know, now, but I told Isaiah, you know, be kind of cognizant about that because you step on something and just think that it's nothing and then it get infected and you have a problem. Well, <clears throat> baby stepped on this nail. Uh, we went to Universal Studios that Saturday. He stepped on the nail that Thursday. Okay. And he didn't really even elaborate on it. I think we talked about it a little bit and we just went on with the conversation like it was not really of importance, right? So I'm thinking that it was like not such a big deal. We went on to Universal Studios. He not one time complained or anything. He never complained and said, babe, my foot, never nothing. So Thursday, was it Wednesday or Thursday? His foot was, it had, at that point, just swollen up. He was like, babe, I can't even get my shoes on. And I was like, wait, what's going on? He said, babe, you know I told you I stepped on that nail and shit, but I'm thinking that, you know, my foot just was going to go down. And, you know, you told me to elevate it. I elevated You told me to put some ice on it. I put some ice on it, but shit, it's still not. <clears throat> I said, well, did you take them hot-ass socks off? For one thing, take them hot-ass socks off so then therefore your feet can breathe because... You got these um, smoldering ass socks on and, and then you got this cut in there and it's just, it's heat and stuff in there. You're going to set up an infection, you know, and needless to say, he set up an infection, okay? So, oh my God. So anyway, he goes to the doctor Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday. He goes to the doctor on Thursday and they kept his ass. And they were like, okay, you know, this is, you know, you have an infection now. We need IV, antibiotics, yada, yada, yada. And it was so bad that they actually had to lance it and remove some of the pus in it because it was all, it, it was bad. 
And I was like, babe, you didn't tell me that it was that bad. I mean, for real? Well, babe, I want to go to Universal Studios and, you know, I just want to take you somewhere and we was just want to do something. I was like, forget that shit. You know, and he was like, you know, um, it was kind of cool that we didn't go on the zombie run, right? Well, shit, I wasn't doing that no way. You know what I mean? But, you know, when he was like, okay, baby, if you don't want to do the zombie run or whatever and you don't want to do the um, horror night, we could just go home. I was like, okay, no problem. But I didn't know that, you know, he had, you know, sustained such an injury. I didn't think that it was really that bad. But, you know, hey, set up an infection and all that. And so it was just all bad. So, um, <laughs> uh, so Saturday, I did not go down there Thursday. Thursday night is when they kept him Thursday evening. And then... Friday, I didn't go on Friday because I had other, man, okay, they changed Anthony's schedule, I still drop him off and pick him up, you guys know this, but now he's starting to drive a little bit more, so hopefully he will be driving his truck, I don't know, um, but he did drive it over the weekend, let me just go and put that part out, but, so now I'm getting rest at night, we're at home at night, so we, when we lock up and cut the alarm on, we're resting, I don't have to get up in the middle of the night anymore, get him off, none of that kind of stuff. Oh, my God, it's just so beautiful now. I don't have to do that. And I did that for like a whole year, getting up and picking him up. You know, some nights, some um, nights he would get off at 1.30. Between 1.30 and 3.30, this boy was getting off from work at night. And I was the one that was picking him up. And all smiles and glitter, you know, Charming personality, fully intact, because I didn't want my son to feel like, oh, man, you know, you know, mom feels, you know, I didn't want him to feel bad that, you know, I was getting up and everything. It's like, what is a mom to do? You know what I mean? It's like, like I told him that, you know, when it comes down to your children, you know, sometimes you make those type of sacrifices. And a lot of times you don't really complain, in which I didn't really complain. Um, it wasn't until this latter end of it. To where I begin to get a little tired, you know what I mean? That I, um, and then that was one thing that make, made me and Ken fall out um, was the fact that my son had called. Let me just go and put this out here because, Kenny, I know you do watch my videos from time to time, but you already know what it was. And that was one reason that the straw that broke the camel's back on that. My son had got off from work that one night, and my son was calling my phone for me to come pick him up, and I had overslept, okay? Now, um, he called my phone and he called Kenny's phone, okay? And do you know that motherfucker did not wake me up to go pick my baby up? And my baby was just outside, on side of the road. I just felt so bad as a mother, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, he did call Lyft and Lyft brought him home. But it was just the fact that, you know, you don't do my baby like that. I don't give a damn what. I don't give a damn how old he is. I understand he should be driving, but that's, that's, that's my child. You're not going to discipline him that way because he needs to be driving with it. Well, that, that's what he need. He need to be driving. So then, therefore, you know, it's, it's hard love and tough love and all that kind of stuff. And then he'll realize that he need to be driving and whatever. That ain't, that, that, that wasn't for you to do, though. And nor was, you know, it would have been great if you would have just went on and got him. But being that you didn't and you allowed my baby to, um, you know, sit out there and all that kind of stuff. You already know what it is. And that right there was the straw that broke the camel's back on that. So, anyway, we we, we, we done with that. But, at any rate, um, <laughs> so Saturday, uh, now I had the time. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to take Tioni back and forth to do what she has to do. And Isaiah um, played their last season game on Friday. And so Tioni had to work. And then Anthony had to work. So I had two that was at work and one had a game. And, you know, so I'm burning the candle on two ends. Mama got to be over here. Got to pick this one up. Got to drop this one off. Got to take this one. You know, he forgot his compression helmet. And this one had this and this one had this. So Friday I couldn't go. I couldn't go Thursday either because we both didn't know that they were going to keep him. So, you know, um, I didn't go. So then I was like, okay, so Saturday... You know, I'm going to go and spend the day with my babe. And listen, 
I was, you guys know during Christmas time, they sell those Axe, um, the men overnight bags, and it comes with the little case, and it got like their, like an overnighter, and it has like um, aftershave in it, and deodorant, and body wash, and you know, splash, and all that stuff inside the case. Well, every year, um, you know, I tend to get, you know, for my boys, I get them like Anthony has an overnighter. I got Ken an overnighter. Tony has an overnighter, a really, really nice overnighter that I bought Tony years ago. I, you know, it was like, you know, but it was, it was really, really nice. I mean, you know, it was coach. So it was nice, really, really nice, man. Uh, and I had got it from the coach outlet and, um, it was really nice. And, and it matched his, um, excuse me, Tony's Bible cover and stuff. And it was really nice. So Tony has one. So I do believe in a man also having a nice little overnighter, especially if you're going to go out and stay, you know, or travel or whatever. Don't just throw your toothbrushes and all that stuff. Just throw them in your bag. You know, you want to at least put your toothbrush not in, not only in a toothbrush uh, holder if you have one, but if you don't have that, then it needs to be in a Ziploc bag. And, you know, I'm just that way. So at any rate, um, I knew that, um, they had kept Bay, and he didn't, you know, he really didn't have time to, you know, get no bag packed or any of that. So, um, when they just kept him, he was just down there with what he had. And so, and I was like, you know, um, since I was going up there on Saturday and I didn't even tell him that I was getting him, you know, all the stuff that I got him, all he had asked for was, babe, can you bring me some degree deodorant? That was all he asked for. He didn't ask for anything else. He was like, babe, I just need some degree some degree deodorant so but I got there and I just bought all kinds of stuff I just I just bought all kinds of stuff and so um they didn't have the overnighter and then I didn't want to put it in no girly type bag or anything like that so I drove I walked in there with the target ass bags and I kind of felt kind of you know because presentation is everything I don't know I'm just that kind of girl and I um I didn't, none of my bags would be suffice because all my bags are girly bags and stuff. And so I was like, okay, I need to put it in some form of bag. And then I, I was like, okay, well, on the way, I'll stop off and go to like the Dollar Tree or something like that and at least get one of those shopping bags, you know, the reusable bags. I would get something like that. But once I got on the road and stuff and started heading there, I was like, you know, because it was, I had to go all the way in LA. He lives in LA. So. I was like, okay, I'll find something on the way, but I didn't. I had stopped off, and I got him a pastrami sandwich. I got him a two-liter soda of Sprite and all kind. I mean, I just I just plugged him in. So when I walked in, he first of all, he did not know what time I was coming. He did not know anything. All he knew was that I was going to come because I was, I was going also down to Inglewood. Inglewood was having this little thing. And I at least just wanted to show face because I did tell someone that I would probably come and, you know, buy something from there, you know, it's, it's a vendor. And I was like, okay, well, I will come and support or whatever. So I was going to do that, but they knew that I also was going to go spend some time with my baby and I had some other things going on. But since I was going to Golden Bird, I said, okay, well, then therefore I'll stop off, you know, say how you doing, how you been, and then go get my chicken and then go back to the hospital. Well... Um, needless to say, um, when I showed up at the hospital, he just, he was like, it was like a sight for sore eyes. It made me feel so good because when I, I knocked on the door and I opened up the door and it, his curtain was kind of drawn, he has room by himself. And so, um, when I peeped around the curtain, because when I knocked on the door lightly, um, and I opened up the door, he thought that I was one of the nurses. He didn't know that it was me. So when I looked around the court, the curtain, he was like, "Oh, baby, it was just, it just, it just felt so good to me. Oh my God, it was like he was just so happy to see me. He sat up in the bed and he was all shifting and stuff. And he was like, you know, I mean, he felt so bad because you know he has a full face beard and stuff, you know, growing in now. So he's like, baby, I know I'm looking all scraggly. I was like, shit, you looking sexy as shit to me, because he was all his beard and stuff was all growing in and everything." And he was like, he was like, oh, baby, I'm just so happy that you're here to see me. It was just so cute. Oh, my God. And, I mean, and he thought that I was just the cutest ever with my little black jumpsuit on. Is it over here? Even? Yeah, here it is. 
this is what I had on. Oh, here's my hospital. <laughs> here's my um my hospital uh visitor thing. And um this jumpsuit, I know you guys are asking me where did I get it from? Um first of all, it is a size medium if you can see that. Can you see that? It's a medium. And I got this from Marshalls on the clearance rack. Remember when I was telling you guys that I had, um, cause, and I had got this too from Marshalls on the clearance rack the same day. The dress that I had on yesterday, I didn't do a video for you guys, but I posted the picture on my, um, that other stuff. And so this one is also a medium. The dress that I had on yesterday is also a medium. And, oh my God, this dress fit me like a glove. And um, you see, you saw how the jumpsuit fit, but it's a medium. And, oh my God, he just thought this was just something. He was like, oh my God, and you wore this to come see me? I was like, yes. And that ass wanted me in the bed. But guess what, though? Girls, I took one for the team. I got in the bed. Because <laughs> Ben was like, well, shit, that's just my foot. I mean, you know, daddy's foot is hurting, but that uh, everything else is just fine. Can you still just get in the bed with me? I was like, yeah, I'll get in the bed with you. So I got in the bed with my man. 